What you hear in the opening title of my videos is my Ernie Ball Stingray Special HH. So what makes this bass special and what makes it HH? Well, I'll tell you. The Stingray is often considered the third member of Leo Fender's holy trinity of basses, which also include the precision bass and the jazz bass. Personally, I would add the L2000 to this, but that's a discussion for another time. Now, the Stingray specials appeared in 2018, and these were revisions in the design to try to make the bass more comfortable and lighter. Now, my bass is the dual parallel wired humbucker model, which is why it's called an HH. And it's a beautiful shade of red known as ghost pepper. And let's face it, all Stingrays look good in red. This bass has all the attributes that make it a Stingray special, just like the single pickup model. And this includes the three band EQ. I should also add that all Stingray specials are 18 volt systems. And the pickups themselves were redesigned so that the strings stay centered over the pole pieces as they converged over the nut. My bass also features an ebony fretboard. The HH model also features a five-way pickup selector switch that not only selects the pickups, but allows for a couple unique combinations. When the switch is all the way down, it selects the pickup closest to the bridge. This is the classic Stingray setting, because this pickup is mounted in the classic Stingray position. If you click the switch to its one-up position, you get a combination of the two pickups' outer coils. When you click the switch to the middle position, you get both pickups fully on. Moving the switch to the one down position gives a setting that utilizes the inner coils of both pickups. And finally, the fully up position of the switch solos the neck pickup. Here are some sound clips of the Ernie Ball Stingray Special HH using different settings.
So how do I feel about my Ernie Ball Stingray Special HH? I gotta tell you, for pick playing and finger playing, this bass is quite the versatile Swiss Army knife. It does that Stingray thing, you can dial in punchy and bright modern tones, but it also can get warm and subtle classic style tones. And here's the thing. There's no pickups mounted in the usual precision or jazz spots. So almost everything this bass does is kind of unique and original unto itself. The problem with the Stingray Special HH is for slap playing. Even though I use this bass to play my intro, I can tell you that this bass is not a very slap friendly instrument. And that's kind of a difficult thing to say about a Stingray. The problem is the location of this neck pickup. It doesn't matter if you're doing traditional slap style or double thumping, there's always some risk of getting some rebound string contact with this pickup. Plus, there's not a whole lot of clearance between the neck pickup and the neck itself, so it's a challenge to relax and comfortably get your fingers under the strings to pop them. So if you're a slap player that loves the Stingray thing but wants a little more versatility in what they do, you may want to seek out one of those rare Stingrays that have both the humbucker and the single coil, or look into Ernie Ball's Sterling models which have that pickup configuration. So I'm going to have to give the Ernie Ball Stingray Special HH two separate ratings. It gets 5 out of 5 fingers for pick and finger style playing, but for slap playing, I give it 0 thumbs. I'm Rib13. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do have a Patreon account, and I'd still like to thank all my patron, Derek, and I'll see you next time.